When sharing the road with a truck, it is important to remember that trucks generally a. Require longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. b. Require less time to pass on a downgrade than smaller vehicles do. c. Require a smaller turning radius than smaller vehicles do. d. Require less time to pass on an incline than smaller vehicles do. a. Require longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. Because of their size, trucks need longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. This sign means A. Traffic signal. B. Fire station. C. T. Intersection. D. Left turn signal. A. Traffic signal. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming traffic signal. They should be prepared to respond to a yellow light, red light, and or cross traffic. Drinking alcohol and driving is A. A minor traffic safety problem. B. A serious traffic safety problem. C. Safe if you have only had a few drinks. D. Only dangerous to the driver who drinks. B. A serious traffic safety problem. Driving while impaired or intoxicated is a serious traffic safety problem. Safe driving is not possible when you drink alcohol or take other drugs. Driving under the influence is dangerous both to you and to others on the road. Traffic signals sometimes display arrows to control turns from specific lanes. A solid yellow arrow, A, is never used as a traffic signal. B, has the same meaning as a circular yellow traffic light. C, means that drivers may turn in the direction indicated by the arrow. D. Tells drivers that a green arrow is about to be shown. B. Has the same meaning as a circular yellow traffic light. A solid yellow arrow has the same meaning as a yellow traffic light. When approaching a solid yellow arrow, you must reduce your speed and prepare for a red light. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Where should you never make a U-turn? A. At the crest of a hill. B. Near a curve. C. Where drivers cannot see you for 500 feet in both directions. D. Any of the above. D. Any of the above. Do not make a U-turn at the crest of a hill, near a curve, or any place where you or other drivers cannot see 500 feet away. You should only make a U-turn when it is safe to do so. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in school zones is A. 10 miles per hour. B. 20 miles per hour. C. 30 miles per hour. D. 50 miles per hour. B. 20 miles per hour. Unless posted otherwise, your speed is not reasonable and proper if you drive at speeds faster than 20 miles per hour in a school zone. Drivers should exercise caution when driving in an area with an increased likelihood of children or other pedestrians entering traffic. Railroad crossings should always be considered a. Safe to cross, as it is unlikely that a train will be coming. b. Dangerous. c. Safe locations to park a car. d. A place where it is required to stop. b. Dangerous. Railroad crossings are always dangerous. Drivers should always look and listen for trains approaching from either direction on all railroad tracks. Always follow the directions indicated by signs, signals, and flaggers. Never proceed past a railroad crossing until you are certain it is safe to do so.
This sign means A. Pedestrians only. B. Intersection ahead. C. Hiking trails ahead. D. School crossing ahead. D. School crossing ahead. This sign indicates that a school crossing is ahead. This sign means A. One way traffic. B. Intersection ahead. C. Merging traffic from the right. D. Highway curves ahead. Highway markings? A. Are usually not important. B. Are only found in construction zones. C. Provide information for drivers. D. Are usually red and blue in color. C. Provide information for drivers. Highway markings provide information for drivers. Markings help drivers correctly position their vehicles on roadways, inform drivers of safe passing zones, and warn drivers about upcoming conditions. This sign means A. The highway ahead curves only to the right. B. The highway ahead turns sharply to the right. C. The highway ahead curves to the right and then to the left. D. The highway ahead curves to the left and then to the right. C. The highway ahead curves to the right and then to the left. Warning signs are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazardous conditions and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that the road ahead curves to the right and then to the left. If you are driving behind a motorcycle, your following distance should be at least A. 4 seconds. B. 3 seconds. C. 2 seconds. D. 1 second. This sign means A. Don't drink if you are going to drive. B. Slippery when wet. C. Road curves ahead. D. You are approaching a hill. B. Slippery when wet. This sign warns that the road is slippery when wet. Drivers may not pass from either side of a fill in the blank centerline. A. Combination solid and broken yellow. B. Single broken yellow. C. Double solid yellow. D. Single broken white. C. Double solid yellow. A double solid yellow line down the center of a two-way road means that it is prohibited for traffic from either direction to cross the center to pass. A speed limit is? A. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under dangerous conditions. B. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. C. The suggested speed to travel on a road under ideal conditions. D. None of the above. B. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. A speed limit is the maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed, but it is illegal to drive any faster. You must drive more slowly where signs or signs indicate a school zone or work zone speed limit. If conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe, drive under the speed limit. A slow-moving vehicle emblem is A. A rectangular red sign. B. A circular green sign. C. A diamond-shaped yellow sign. D. A triangular orange sign. D. A triangular orange sign. The slow-moving vehicle symbol is a reflective orange triangle. Expect vehicles using this emblem to be driving at speeds of 25 miles per hour or slower.
Your chances of being in a collision begin to increase after consuming? A. 4 alcoholic drinks. B. 3 alcoholic drinks. C. 2 alcoholic drinks. D. 1 alcoholic drink. D. 1 alcoholic drink. If you drink alcohol, even just one drink, your chances of being in a crash are much greater than if you did not drink any alcohol. No one can drink alcohol and drive safely, even if you have been driving for many years. Don't follow other cars too closely because A. You may not see the road between the cars. B. You may not have time to stop if the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly. C. You may not see the vehicle's turn signals. D. You may not see the other vehicle's brake lights. A person who drives much slower than the speed limit? A. Is a very safe driver. B. Always has the right of way. C. Should not let following cars pass. D. May create a dangerous driving environment. D. May create a dangerous driving environment. Driving more slowly than the flow of traffic can be hazardous. If you are on a two-lane, two-way road and driving so slowly that traffic is backing up behind you, you are required to pull off the road and let the other vehicles pass. Only drive significantly under the speed limit when conditions require it. You notice a vehicle defect which may affect the safe operation of your vehicle. You should A. Correct the defect as soon as possible. B. Correct the defect when you can afford it. C. Drive the vehicle at slower speeds. D. Drive normally. A. Correct the defect as soon as possible. Any defect that may affect the safe operation of a vehicle should be corrected as soon as possible. Defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. This sign means A. Watch for trucks. B. Do not pass trucks. C. Truck parking area ahead. D. Steep downgrade ahead. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in thickly settled areas and business districts is a. 10 miles per hour. B. 20 miles per hour. C. 30 miles per hour. D. 50 miles per hour. C. 30 miles per hour. Unless posted otherwise, your speed is not reasonable and proper if you drive at speeds faster than 30 miles per hour in thickly settled areas or business districts. Drivers should use extra caution when driving in an area with an increased likelihood of pedestrians entering traffic. When changing lanes you should not a. Check your side and rear view mirrors. b. Give a turn signal to signal your intentions. c. Check for other drivers who may be moving into the same lane as you. d. Use your cell phone to contact the police to determine if the road ahead is clear. D. Use your cell phone to contact the police to determine if the road ahead is clear. Before changing lanes, check your side and rear view mirrors for traffic approaching you from behind. Use your turn signal to let other drivers know you plan to change lanes. Check for other drivers who also may be moving into the same lane. When meeting a car with blinding headlights, you should A. Use your bright lights until the other vehicle dims theirs. B. Flash your lights on and off to warn the other driver. C. Dim your lights and then speed up to pass quickly. D. Look toward the right side of the road. D. Look toward the right side of the road. If a vehicle comes toward you with its high beams on, look away from the headlights and toward the right side of the road until the car has passed. This will keep you from being blinded.
If you see the sign, you a. Must not pass another vehicle. b. May pass a slow-moving vehicle if you can do so quickly. c. May pass if you know the road ahead. d. May pass, but only at night. a. Must not pass another vehicle. Regulatory signs are white, rectangular signs with black markings. Drivers must obey the instructions posted on all regulatory signs. Where this sign is posted, it is prohibited for drivers to pass one another.